everybody, it's your online singing coach back today with a new reaction. Now this one wasn't suggested in the comments, it showed up in my feed and I'm very curious to hear this one. Her name is Benedetta Coretta. The track I'm going to be reacting to today is the Gladiator song, Now We Are Free. And I'm, I'm particularly excited to check this out because this is one of the genres that I do a lot of professionally trailer music, cinematic, ethereal vocals. Huge fan of Lisa Gerard, the original um, singer on this track, and really, really curious and interested to hear a cover of this song. So you've got to have some chops to be able to cover this. And guessing by the millions of views, it must be pretty impressive. I sure hope it is because this is an amazing song and it needs to be done justice. So let's see if she can pull it off. Setting a nice mood already with the music. There we go. In case you couldn't tell, at that very, very first phrase, beautiful tone, she had the right sound for this kind of music. I loved the setting. You know, when I saw like the, the screenshot for this, I assumed it was like a green screen, ocean background, but she was actually on a little boat. That was awesome. I, I really felt like, you know, with this music, that visual image with the ocean and the boat and her hair and the breeze and the sunshine really complemented the song so nicely and and enhanced the mood, the sound of this song. I could almost feel that breeze in my own hair, feel that sunshine, that's the ocean air. Yes, so she got me right away on that very, very first phrase. Like, yes, I can hear gentle, kind of whispery sound with a, a bright kind of mix placement. 
you know, that, that pretty vibrato. It was right in there right away, so I, I, I loved it. I, I'm quite sure it was pre-recorded. I believe she was lip syncing along to that, and that's fine, you know, you're not gonna get a good sound with wind flying into your microphone and and an amp or something on a on a boat. But my only complaint was that there were a bunch of parts happening, uh, especially in that second chorus. There was like two octaves and some surround sound of vocals, which was cool, but I couldn't actually hear what was the lead, which is fine. You know, again, for this kind of music, it has like an Enya kind of sound and, and Enya's vocals are layered, layered, layered. So it's the same thing here. She's layered the vocals. So this is such a subjective thing. The Enya, the Enya sound, was right on with those layers and not having one part pop out, not having a big belty moment or anything like that. That's very Enya style. But for me, like with Lisa, she has very, very dynamic vocals. She can sing soft and she can sing huge. And I would have liked to maybe in that second chorus have heard like maybe the high octave pop out a little bit more or just a little bit louder in the low octave instead of the da, 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 da. maybe more of a See, you hear the contrast there? I also want to just compliment how graceful she was with her arms and it was like she was one with the setting. It really was a beautiful moment. She embodied her environment as well as the music. Nice work with the camera too. Really liked how most of the time she was like out in her own world and every now and then she would look right at it. And that was just very effective performing. Very, very well done. I'm definitely curious to hear more songs by her because this is a very specific genre, a very specific sound. And I see she has some more pop-oriented covers that I'd love to check out. If you have a recommendation, one you think I'm really gonna be blown away by, let me know in the comments, please. I always like to watch it back a second time and absorb more of those details. Here we go. Beautiful image here. Yes. Yes. And this first phrase, absolute magic. Beautiful vocals, beautiful expression. And just hearing this first, this first phrase, if I was in a movie theater and this song came up for the first time, I have never heard it before and I heard her vocal, I'd be like, who is that singer I need to know? Growth there. I like that. There's the eyes right at the camera. So there's a group of vocals now. Such a beautiful song. right there after that second chorus so yes suddenly there's more parts happening there's like a little ad-lib part there's a high octave and then the stacked unison vocals so there's a lot going on and she's kind of singing what looks like the the main part but i would have loved in this section just this to have one part pop out a little bit but as i mentioned you know this kind of enya style vocal it sounds amazing uh, for a recording, like not as a live performance, yes, no complaints. That's that's great. It works so well. Okay, moving on. Ready. 
lovely profile. Love her voice here. Again, that right to camera look, and then back in the zone. Love her voice here. <laughs> yes, absolutely beautiful. You Benedetta fans, let me know about her. What's her story? And which song of hers should I react to next? I really would like to hear more from her. She has such a beautiful tone, nailed the style so well. What else can she do? I really am excited to find out more. Hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you want to hear my latest song in this style, I'll put a link to it in the in the song description. I love this style of music so much. Love this piece of music so much. Such an amazing piece of music and she did a beautiful job. Thanks again for watching with me and I'll see you next time. Yo S C your online singing